the Garden of Eden. For some, it's a soft mattress. <sighs> for others, it's sunshine and seashore. Yet for others, a sweet pudding. Does paradise exist? And if so, where can it be found? Two people could have told us. Adam and Eve, the sole inhabitants of Eden. But since those two insisted on eating the fruit of the one tree that had been forbidden to them, they were expelled from the Garden of Paradise. What a shame. Paradise on Earth lost just like that. And people have been trying to find it again ever since. The Torah, the holy scripture of the Jews, says that the Garden of Eden was irrigated by a mighty river, which branched out into four other rivers, the Pishon, the Gihon, the Euphrates, and the Tigris. No one knows where the rivers Gihon and Pishon lie. Perhaps they never existed. But it could be that Paradise was located somewhere north of Mesopotamia. Be that as it may, fantasies about Paradise abound. Followers of Jesus, Luke, for example, imagine paradise as a place in heaven for life after death. The same is true in Islam, where the faithful expect to find a paradise of pleasures full of fruit and refreshing streams. Some Jewish scholars believe that the Garden of Eden is a bit further away. It's not waiting for you when you die. It's a heavenly world to come at the end of all time. But when it comes, you might be dining at golden tables. The question remaining then is, how do we get to paradise? Opinions differ on this question as well.